Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So I wanted to talk about an article here that I actually saw from Forbes, and uh, it, it's actually pretty interesting. And this is something that the 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 journalist here actually talked about, and something that he wants the Rick Grimes movie to essentially do. And it's not necessarily the movie, but just you know the just what to do with the character next, because at this point we've all been waiting for the Rick movie. But you know you might as well, if anything, turn that movie into a television series, because I think they actually are a lot more successful nowadays, which is kind of weird. So obviously, before we go any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. As well, I, I will be posting a, a Spider Man video later on the. To Today. There's going to be some early plot details that come out later today. I'm not doing a video on that specifically, but I want to talk about some of the early reviews that are going to be coming out. And um, yeah, there's going to be some pretty interesting things that that come out later today. I really recommend avoiding Twitter if you can. I promise I won't be posting any sort of spoilers of anything until after the weekend. So like starting next Monday, definitely I will. I'm, I'm gonna try keep it not spoilery, but like certain things, like if Toby Maguire, or Andrew Garfield are in it, like I'll just kind of say, you know, I'm not gonna spoil like who dies or or this thing, this and that. But like if certain things, like certain things that I really want to talk about, they might be in the title, this and that. But you know, I think that's pretty normal. Most people will wait the whole weekend, kind of thing. And I mean, it's starting today, literally. So just I, all I'm gonna say is really, really try to avoid it if you really want to stay away from it. I know a lot of people like it. I'm tempted to go and read some stuff, but it's going to be hard. Honestly, it's going to be very hard because I'm, I'm already, I'm so convinced that I'm going to get spoiled of something just because I don't know, some articles don't take that into account all the time, right? The fact that they're watching it early and that it's not available to the public, right? Like it's different with The Walking Dead because with AMC Plus, like that's available to essentially almost everybody for the most part, at least to more people than just journalists, right? Like it's available to everybody in Canada and the US, basically North America. With Spider-Man, you know, it's just available to, uh, to a few people, right? It's uh, like journalists who get to watch it. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So I would say, you know, wait for the weekend at least. Wait at least until then. And then after that, honestly, I feel like for the most part, you're on your own, right? But yeah, Spider-Man's going to be a pretty big movie. I'm really excited. I hope to see Toby and Andrew Garfield in it. I mean, it's crazy that they haven't spoiled anything at this point. I mean, they are definitely teasing a lot, but yeah. So there's this article here from Forbes, and I'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. It's uh, it's really interesting. He goes into a, a bunch of stuff in here, but I mostly just want to talk about the the very ending thing here. And uh, this is what he would do, I guess, if it was if you know, it, I guess what he would do with the Rick Grimes uh, character going forward if he was AMC. And he says that he would have The Walking Dead sort of just end as uh, you know, just end it with season eleven, end it with the comic material, and don't bring Rick back here at all because it would apparently overshadow the existing cast. Uh, plus he dies in the comic here and we don't want that finish it without him maybe just he's a return of it but that's it see i would say i would say honestly with that part there i think if you had him in the last five minutes like like there's a scene in the comic at the very end where you have carl reading to his, his daughter right i think if you had rick there reading to his grandchild i think that's really amazing if that was like just the last scene that kind of confirmed that he's home now right obviously he would be much older because they would do a big time jump I don't think that overshadows the cast at all because it's the, literally the last thing. And it's it's the last thing you're going to see in The Walking Dead that Rick made at home. And maybe if it's Judith and she says she has a son, Carl, then uh, Rick is holding his grandson, Carl. And I think it's like the perfect storybook ending to everything because Rick has made it home. We're so happy with that. Um, you know, I think it's the best way to, to end the show. And it's a happy ending. Honestly, it, it's a really amazing ending. But... Uh, you go on to the next one here. He says he wants Fear the Walking Dead to end after next season because he has no idea why the show's still on. I kind of disagree with that. You know, with the return of Madison, I think Fear has a few more seasons left. I think if Madison wasn't returning, I would agree with that. I would say, yeah, I have no idea why the show's on. But they're, they're, they kind of have to build on this thing a little bit more, I think. Like, like to actually bring Madison back in this story, I think, is actually going to change a lot of the momentum and a lot of, you know, I would say the future of the show in the sense that, like, you can actually do a season nine and maybe even a season 10. I think after season 10, definitely ended at that point, because that's three full seasons with Madison back. Like, I want more than one season with Madison back, right? And so I'm like, do you end it after eight? You could, you know, that's the season she comes back, end it strong. But I, I think you can do more. I think you can totally do more. You know, it's set so far in the past still. They can jump forward five, six years. There's so much they can do there, right? So I would say with fear, 
it can go longer than, than eight seasons for sure. Definitely 10 seasons. I think it should end though. I don't want it to go 11 seasons as much as the walking dead. Cause that's a little bit too much. That just seems a little crazy, but then he goes into like, that would leave uh, AMC with these active shows. And so he just kind of went with the adventures of Daryl and Carol, which obviously that's not the name, but there is the Daryl and Carol spinoff show, right? And then we have Tales of the Walking Dead, which is going to be really, really great. And then he goes with the Rick Grimes show, basically. And him saying that, you know, instead of doing the movies, just have Rick come back for his own television show. Because it would be an entire, entirely new series. Obviously, Andrew Lincoln would return as Rick Grimes. And he would have his, his new, or just like he's saying here, and his adventures within the CRM, the main villainous force of the overall Walking Dead universe. Ideas for the series would include reuniting with Michonne as she left the main show to go find him, and then Rick dealing with a new plague of fast zombies that were introduced by the end of World Beyond. Again, I see nothing wrong with airing, say, 10 episodes of a Rick Grimes show a year, rather than this endlessly delayed series of blockbuster movies they have planned. And so when I see that there, I mean, yeah, I, I would say that I actually kind of agree with that, because you're actually looking at that slate of, of just what he has there, right? Uh, I mean, that would be starting in 2023. Tales, obviously, is starting next year. But, you know, in 2023, there's going to be three main shows. There's going to be the Daryl and Carol spinoff, Tales of the Walking Dead. And then I guess if they want to do the Rick Grimes show. Otherwise, if they don't do that, then I guess there would be a, uh, I guess, the movie eventually at some point. And the thing is, with the movie, it's only two hours. and I don't know if you're going to be able to do a lot with it, you know, and. It is interesting, because if you're actually thinking about the idea of doing a Walking Dead movie, like, where the hell did that even come from, right? I think it was because Andrew Lincoln and Gimple, just all of them wanted to do a movie at some point. It just kind of, you know, I feel like for the longest time, it's been instilled in our brain that movies are bigger than, than television shows. But I would say nowadays, that really is not the case. You know, television shows now are, I think, much more massive because you can do so much more. When a movie comes out, it's big. Yeah, people go to the theaters. It, it's released. Um, but, I, I, you know, it's just for one day. Think about it. Spider-Man's been hyped up for so long. We're getting all excited about trailers. It's an ad. Once we, like, I'm seeing it in, in three days. Once I watch it, it's kind of done. You know, I'll do a few videos on it. I'll talk about it. I might go see it again. But it's kind of done already. But when you look at other television shows, even the Marvel television shows, you know, they go on for like six episodes, eight episodes. You kind of live with it for a few weeks. You live with it for a while. That's kind of what we experience with The Walking Dead, right? I think it makes more sense. That's why you see a lot of Disney Plus's television shows doing so well. Do, you know, they're very successful. And I think it just it makes a lot more sense to do it like that. I, I'm honestly, I, I'm all for this idea. I really like this idea. I say scrap the movies, scrap the, the trilogy. Do a Rick Grimes television show. Do that and make it 10 episodes. I actually think it would be so perfect. I know it would make no sense to some people because they're going to be like, well, he, he, he was just a part of a, a Walking Dead television show, which he, you know, he was the main character in. I, and I would say, yeah, but The Walking Dead, I would say starting in season four or five, basically around the time Gimple took over, you know, they really started to focus on every other character. Every other character became, you know, the show became like an ensemble cast and I, I think that if you were to do a Rick spinoff, it's more of it's Rick's story, right? I think that's the way to do it. Honestly, it actually makes so much more sense to do it like that. I think it would be so much more successful. People can watch it on AMC Plus or on AMC. It actually makes the most sense to just stick with television shows. It's what's it's AMC is so good with that. And not even that, they're gonna be able to do it right away because I don't know why the movie's taking so long. And honestly, maybe that's maybe they're already planning this. Maybe they are, because if you think about it, Norman Reedus said that the scope of things have changed already. So maybe that's exactly what, what they meant. It wasn't necessarily the, the scope of the universe and what the, the story's gonna be, this and that. Maybe it's actually more of like, we could do this movie, but like, you know, it's just gonna be a movie. Why don't we actually do like a, a another television series, right? And so maybe they're kind of at that point now, but maybe Andrew Lincoln doesn't want to do a television series. So maybe they're, you know, that could be honestly what it is. And, and, and you know, if Andrew Lincoln doesn't want to do that, that's sad. I, I would hate that. But I think it makes the most sense because it's, you know, especially if you make it a limited series, like 10 episodes instead of the whole 16, just do 10 episodes of, of the Rick Grimes story. It would be really big. You'd be dealing with those fast walkers. Um, I mean, there's so much there. There is honestly so much there. That's going to be the main show that is going to be competing with The Last of Us. So, like, yeah, you know what? I honestly, I really like this idea. 
Again, I'll, I'll leave a link down below to the article. He actually goes into it more in depth and talks about his reasonings as to why, you know, why it doesn't really make sense for AMC to do the movies anymore kind of thing. And um, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think that AMC should just scrap the movie idea. Don't do the trilogy because it's taking way too long, way too long. A television series, you know how to do. Do that. And I, honestly, that could be actually what they're planning now that I'm thinking about the fact that, you know, the scope has changed. They're working on different things. Just do a television series. So if you guys agree with me, definitely just throw that out there into the universe. Share this video wherever and see if they can actually like like hear this. And I don't know, maybe we can get something going. Because uh, all of us brought Madison back, right? We all kept talking about it. And then eventually the showrunners actually heard. And then, you know, look at that. She's coming back this season. So yeah, I'm excited for this. Honestly, I'm really excited for this. I really think this is a smart idea. I think Rick could come back. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So definitely post your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walkie content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.